you're considering buying a home in Raleigh, North Carolina, and you're wondering what neighborhoods are located near the best high schools, are you wondering what types of homes your money will buy near these Raleigh high schools? Well, sit back and relax because class begins right now. Hi guys, I'm Mike Sanders with the Mike Sanders team at Remax United in Raleigh. So probably one of the most frequent questions that I get asked from potential homeowners are about the local schools. They ask me, okay, what are the best schools in the areas, but what homes are available in these same areas? And how much home can I get for my budget? Well, right now, I'm gonna go over what are the top rated schools in the Raleigh area as rated by the website niche.com. And just as important, we'll see what types of homes you might be able to get close to these schools, both resale homes and new construction. So let's start out at the fifth ranked school as ranked by niche.com, Raleigh's Millbrook High School. Millbrook, which gets a rating of B-plus by Niche.com, is located in North Raleigh in a pretty established area town where you're gonna find a lot of townhomes. There's quite a few single family homes. Most of these were built back in the late 1960s up until around the mid 1980s or so. The Millbrook High School area is gonna be really convenient to tons of shopping and dining. Lots of entertainment options are nearby. The North Hills Midtown District, along with Triangle Town Center Mall, are both only about 10 minutes or so from the Millbrook campus. You're also gonna be about five to seven minutes away from the nearest I-540 interchange. Millbrook is what's known as a magnet school. What's a magnet school, you might ask? Well, in this case, it's not a school that you attend to learn about magnets. It's a school that offers courses in specialized areas of study, like the STEM areas of study, science, technology, engineering, and math. You can apply your child to one of these magnet schools that specializes in whatever areas of study that's of interest to your child. Looking back over the last 90 days of sales activity for Millbrook, the typical home that's sold over there, both new and resale, is gonna be four bedroom, three bath. Typical median price range is around 485,000. This is for a home that's typically built back in the early 90s, 25, 2600 square feet. If you're looking for new construction in the Millbrook High School area, here's a really good example of what you can find today over in, the, in that area. 1500 Starry Night Court in Raleigh, four bed, five bath home, 4,100, almost 4,200 square feet, 1.275 million. Uh, this home is actually going to be finished this summer. It's at the community of the Overlook at Mount Vernon. This is the Homes by Dickerson uh, property. It's on a three quarters of an acre. There's a swimming pool. Uh, there's a second floor um, owner suite that features a chef's kitchen, walk-in pantry, butler's pantry. So as you can see, you can get some pretty nice homes in that area right now. Again, it's going to run you know, over the million dollar mark, but that's new construction in North Raleigh. Here's a good example of a resale property over in the Millbrook area, 2105 Coxendale Drive. This is a home that's three bedroom, two bath. This was built back in 2008, 2,715 square feet, 5199 is your price on this particular property. All the bedrooms here are on the main level. It's an open floor plan, hardwoods in all the main areas, really big kitchen, stainless steel appliances. There's a lot of activity, a lot of dining, shopping right around this property. Okay guys, coming in at number four on niche.com's list is Athens Drive High School, which they rate an A- minus for academics. Athens Drive Magnet School is located over in Southwest Raleigh. It's about five minutes from North Carolina State University. The area surrounding Athens Drive is pretty much a mixture of older established neighborhoods and apartment communities, which mostly cater to NC State students. The 500 acre Lake Johnston Park is located literally directly across the street from the school. The Athens Drive area is really convenient to both RTP and RDU. You're only about 20 minutes or so from both. Right now in the Athens Drive area, there's about 10 homes that are actively for sale. The typical median sales price on these homes is in the high eights. So like every other area of Raleigh, it's experienced some significant price increases over the last two to three years. Here's an example of an active listing over in the Athens Drive area that's available right now. This is at 507.5 Heather Drive, Raleigh, over in the Sunset Terrace community. This home is listed at $635,000. It's a 2,700 square foot home, four bed, two baths, 
built in 2020, so pretty new. This is gonna be located over near 40 and 440. You're gonna be really close to downtown Raleigh. Cary is not far by. PNC Arena, North Carolina State. Finished hardwoods throughout, modern tile. Upgraded appliances. There's a fourth bedroom that can also be used as a bonus room. Here's a good example of what you can buy as of today, actively for sale over in the Athens Drive area. This is 2321 Toll Mill Court, four bedroom, six full baths, pretty sizable home, 4,229 square feet. This is over in the sanctuary at Yates Mill, which is a phenomenal community. First floor master and study, three car garage, hardwoods throughout the main living area, quartz countertops. I mean, this house has everything. This house is listed as 1.189 million. Okay, so coming in is the number three rated high school, according to niche.com, is Broughton High School. Broughton, like Athens Drive, also gets an A- for academics from niche.com. Broughton is considered to be the most historic high school in Raleigh since it was built way back in 1929. Broughton is located only about seven to eight minutes from downtown Raleigh. You're just around the corner from the Village District, which is formerly known as Cameron Village, just locals. Here you're also going to find a ton of shopping, dining, and entertainment. The area around Broughton is extremely walkable. There's nearly every type of housing available. There's tons of established apartment communities. There's older or historic homes. There's an increasing number of what's known as teardown homes, which is where they're going to take an older home and they're going to demolish it, and then they're going to build a brand new one in its place. Right now over in the Broughton High School District, there's 25 homes for sale, both resale and new construction. The typical home that you're going to find for sale over there right now is going to be four bedroom, four baths, built in around the early 2000s. Your average typical square footages are going to be around 37 or 3,800 square feet. Over at 537 Bragg Street, you're going to find a really good example of what new construction is going to run over in this particular area of Raleigh. This home is four bed, four baths, list price 750,000, 2,330 square feet. It's brand new construction, modernist design, um, open floor plan, really good utilization of windows and light throughout the whole home. There's red oak hardwood floors throughout most of the home. Here's another example of some new construction. Over at 608 Velma Hopkins Lane in Raleigh, you're gonna find this particular uh, custom built home. This is really incredible. Um, skyline views of downtown Raleigh. It's over in Carolee Commons. There's 10 foot ceilings, huge windows throughout, solid oak stairs, hardwood floors. The area over here is fantastic. There's a greenway that leads to the Farmer's Market and Dick's Park right in, in the heart of downtown Raleigh. Okay, we're quickly approaching the number one Raleigh High School. So here at the number two spot on niche.com's list is Liesel Road High School. This school is gonna get an A minus from their side as far as for academics. Liesel Road is located in Northwest Raleigh. Real estate over here in this entire region of Raleigh is extremely desirable. One of the main reasons it's extremely desirable is just because Liesel Road's academic reputation is really making people move in this particular area. It's traditionally been one of the hottest areas in all of Raleigh because of Liesel Road. The other main reason that this area is in such high demand is the fact that you're in an incredible and convenient area of North Raleigh from Liesel Road High School's campus. You're only about a five minute drive from the closest I-540 interchange. You can be over at RDU in under 15 minutes. From this area, you're literally directly halfway between two of the Triangle's premier shopping destinations. Both Crabtree Valley Mall and Briar Creek Commons are less than 10 minutes away from Liesel Road High School. Over the last six month time period, there's been around 100 or so homes for sale. Of these homes, your typical one is gonna be four bedroom, three bath home. Built in the early to mid 90s, your typical list price on these homes is going to be around $500,000. Your typical sales price has been around five hundred seven five. dollars Here at 2268 Dusky Wing Drive, this is going to give you a really good idea of what new construction is going to run over in this particular area of Raleigh. This home was built by Exeter Building Company, which is fantastic. It's over in Papillion Park 2. I've done a video on this community. If you go in the comment section, you'll see a link. Um, this home is 1.175 million, four bed, four baths, 4,100, almost 4,200 square feet. There's some incredible options here, two bedrooms upstairs, huge bonus, exercise room. It's a lot that's big enough for an in-ground swimming pool. Okay guys, here's a good example of a resale property in the Liesel Road High School District. 
2812 Comb Hill Drive in Raleigh, four bedroom, four bath, 3,500 square foot home, sales price 845,000. It's a traditional design, uh, formal dining areas, living room. There's a family room with a fireplace, chef's kitchen, granite countertops, gas range, high-end appliances. Okay guys, drum roll. The number one Raleigh High School is ranked by niche.com is William G. Enloe High School, of which I myself am a proud graduate of the class of 1984. Enloe, which is rated an A plus by niche.com, was the very first high school in Wake County to be designated as a magnet high school. Enloe is located just a five minute drive from downtown Raleigh. It's in an older, well-established area of Raleigh. There's a lot of homes here that were built back in the early 50s all the way up through the 1960s. You're gonna find not a whole lot of new construction in this immediate area of Enloe, but there are opportunities for remodels and teardowns like I've mentioned before. Right now there's eight homes actively for sale over in the Enloe High School District. The typical home over here right now that's actively for sale was built back in the early 70s. Over the last 90 day period, there's been some fairly decent resale activity over in this area of Raleigh. There's been around 50 homes that have sold, both resale and new. Guys, here's a really good example of a teardown that's over in the Enloe area, 1015 Glasscock Street. This is a property that um, was built. It was a teardown. They built brand new construction. This is a four bedroom, three bath home. Sales price $750,000. It's a farmhouse design, which is really popular right now. Hardwood floors throughout. There's a first floor open living area. There's a flexible space for a guest room or an office. Gas fireplace in the living room. Huge owner suite with a standing tub. Frameless walk-in shower. This is typically what you're gonna find, new construction. I see a lot of these for sale right now. Here's an example of a resale home. This is a home that's about 12 years old over at 1117 South State Street, again over in the Enloe District. This is a Craftsman bungalow home, four bed, two full baths. Sales price on this was 465. Again, a newer home. This is gonna be something that when they originally built it, they tore down an existing home and built this newer property. Guys, if you've got kids or you're planning on having kids and you're definitely gonna to wanna to do your homework as it relates to Wake County or Raleigh area schools. Also, another fantastic source of information on the Triangle Area real estate market is our brand new 56 page buyer and seller's guide. Just drop me your contact information along with your email and cell number and I'll send you out a copy as soon as possible. Hey guys, if you're considering an existing home in the North Raleigh area that's gonna be extremely convenient to nearly every type of amenity and activity that you're probably ever gonna to wanna to find, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out my video on the top neighborhoods in North Raleigh. It contains detailed information on what I consider to be some of the premier neighborhoods, not only in just Raleigh, but all of the Triangle region. Just click the link above. Most importantly, whatever you do, make the smart move. Get Mike and get moved.